sometimes I like being a rebel, you know, going outside the box. And I was like, oh, they do it that way? I'm gonna do it this way. So hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you so much to my subbies and everybody who's checking me out for the very first time, trying to get a little peek or whatever, I appreciate it. Today, we are going to talk about my relaxer products. Um, I just relaxed my hair last week. So I usually try and wait, I usually try and wait about seven weeks. Um, I used to be at six, then I pushed it to eight. And so I'm finding the happy middle, which would be about seven. I find that if I wait longer, my hair gets drier and sheds more. And especially now that I'm growing it back in, I'm just being extra careful with that. So last week was the seventh week. I relaxed my hair and I'm gonna show you what relaxer I use and the products that I use when I relax. If you remember in my video where I talk about my favorite hair products, I talked about uh, my staples and everything that I use weekly and that only some things like some of the shampoos and um, I don't know if I mentioned the conditioner but my leave-in I change as well. So I use a different shampoo when I relax as well as a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner. So without further ado, I curled it really tight so it's really full right now. And I like the way it came out. I trim the ends. Let me see if I can put it in the... I trim the ends. I didn't do a major cut because if you remember, I already cut le bangs. So I just... Yeah, it's a little full right now. So yeah, and I like it. Um, Cause sometimes when you relax your hair, it can be flat when you first do it. But I curled it really, really tight this time. So it's, it's really working with me right now. So, all right, so let's get right into it. I relax my hair. I don't use anything special. I get this particular relaxer from Sally's. And this is Ultra Precise. Okay. Uh, it comes, this is the big box, okay? This is the big box, but it comes um, in two strengths. It comes in original formula, which is mild, and then I think it comes in a stronger formula, okay? When I first started out relaxing my hair, I, I used some other relaxer. I think it was called Gentle Treatment or something like that, and then I sort of stumbled stumbled on the precise and I figured I'd try it because guess what it came with two applications in one box I said hey that's for me so I bought it and when I bought it again it comes in two strengths and I don't know I don't know what it is with me but if there's a one to ten and one is normal and ten is like I won't say the worst but the the most challenging I usually go with a 10. So with regard to hair, if I don't know what it is, but I always go, oh, well, I must be the courses. Let me get the ultra. So I used to get the ultra. This was years ago. And it started out okay. You know, I didn't have any adverse reactions to it as far as my hair, but I did notice that I was starting to get patches right back here, right behind my ear. It was always the same spot but that's where the hair, I had like a patch of missing hair. And I said, why is my hair missing on the side? You know, what is going on? I didn't notice anything else other than the patch missing behind my one ear. And it was this ear. Come to find out, I don't need ultra. I, I said, I don't know what it was. I just said, well, let me try mild. Try mild and haven't had an issue since then. I just think a lot of this stuff, being that you're working with a chemical, I, not like me, but I would err on the side of caution and go with the, the lowest strength and work up from there. You know, if you notice that your hair, if the wave or the curl is not relaxing at all, then I may go up a notch. Uh, but overall, I think strong or strength, you know, the ultra strength is too strong. I don't think anybody's hair is that coarse. And you may, 
you may say, uh, no, I need ultra, but I just want you guys to be careful if you do your own relaxers to just be careful of the strength, because if you've been having issues with relaxers, it may be the strength. Okay. You may need to go down a notch. Okay. But, um, because again, if you're like me and you just think your hair was the courses of the course, but you, it probably isn't. Okay. So this is what I use. Okay. It, I've had an ad, I haven't had a problem with it. Um, I love it. It is a no lie relaxer, ultra precise. And this one, uh, this one came with four applications, but the normal box comes with two. You can pretty much find it at a lot of beauty supply stores. And again, I'm gonna be talking about products that I bought with my own coinage, okay? None of this is sponsored. Bought everything myself. I've been using everything and I love this. So all of this stuff I normally use on relaxer day, okay? It's pretty much straightforward. It comes in a tub. I don't have anything to show you because I used the last tub but I wanted to show you the box just in case you were interested. And I don't do anything special. I just part it and I just put the relaxer in the parts. That's all I do. I start on one side and I get to the other. I smooth it out. Okay. What I'm about to tell you may shock a couple people. Don't throw tomatoes at your screen. You don't need to yell or cringe, okay? But when I put in my relaxer, I don't use gloves. Okay, I don't use gloves, I use my fingers. I do that, I've been doing that for years. I do that because I'm able to really feel where it's going, okay? And I've been doing that for years, haven't had a problem. The only thing that happens is my nail turns yellow, but it's never broken off, it's never burned off. Uh, when I use the harsher relaxer, I will say that I used to get a little circle, a little burn circle right in the middle of my index. But, you know, uh, ever since I downgraded, haven't had an issue, that's what I do. I'm not telling anyone else to do it. I'm letting you know how I relax my hair, okay? And a lot of people use gloves and brushes to sort of smooth down the relaxer. Again, not only do I apply it with my finger, but I smooth it out with my finger, okay? That way I can really feel it, you know, feel this, how it's getting straight and what needs more and so forth and so on. So that's what I do, okay? Now here's another doozy, okay? So again, put down the tomatoes, okay? Hold on to your chairs. Everything's gonna be okay, okay? Once I put in the relaxer, it's time to wash once it's time because I leave it on. I try to leave on no more than 30 minutes. And I say 30 minutes because, you know, it takes time to work it through both sides of your head or the front or the back or however you're doing it. But I really try and stay on top of that. Even if I don't think it's really straight, I try and wash it out. Boom, out. So when I wash out my relaxer, I don't use a neutralizing shampoo. I don't use a neutralizing shampoo. I use a regular shampoo. And I'm gonna tell you why. For me, when I started relaxing my hair, I did use a neutralizing shampoo. When I first started, I used, I think it was called Gentle Treatment. I think I mentioned this before. Um, and it had a woman on the cover, real pretty, and long hair flowing. I said, oh, let me try that. It came with a neutralizing shampoo relaxed my hair, used a neutralizing shampoo. Afterwards, my hair felt like straw, okay? Didn't like that feel. I think I used that relaxer one more time, then I switched up to Precise. Same thing, now with Precise, it doesn't come with a neutralizing shampoo, okay? So you have to buy that separate. So that's what I did. I bought the relaxer, then I bought the neutralizing shampoo, um, I don't know if it has its own brand. I'm, I think it does, but I'm not sure. I bought a neutralizing shampoo that would complement the relaxer. And again, you can go to a beauty supply store 
for Sally's and really find, you know, a neutralizing shampoo if your relaxer does not come with one. So that's what I did. Again, used it, relaxed my hair, used it, turned out dry and felt really rigid and it didn't feel good. So what I did was I said, you know what? It may be the shampoo because I know that the shampoo, neutralizing shampoo does just that. It neutralizes the whole um, processing of the relaxer. Neutralizing shampoo neutralizes or stops or halts, slows down the processing of the chemicals in the relaxer, okay? So that's what it's supposed to do. And I felt like it was just, you know, stopping it at a screeching halt. And with that, I felt that it was stripping my hair of all the moisture because it was stopping the chemicals and stopping a lot of stuff. And in the process, I felt like the neutralizer was harsh, you know? So I guess harsh has to meet harsh, meaning the relaxer, which is harsh, has to meet up with something harsh to sort of stop it. So anyway, I didn't like it. So I went to a regular shampoo. And at that time I was using something different than what I'm gonna talk about now. But what I, I, I and I went to a regular shampoo and it worked. Didn't have hair loss. Uh, hair felt much, much better because my theory is that regular shampoo, it sort of eases into stopping the process as opposed to the neutralizing shampoo, just, you know, stopping it all of a sudden and just, you know, fighting it and, and stopping it, you know? So, I'd rather ease into the stopping because even if you relax your hair, you know that even if you were to get some on your ear or something like that, you can just take a wet rag or, you know, a tissue and just, you know, sort of gently wipe it. You don't want to rub it too hard, but gently wipe it. And that helps to not only get the relaxer off, but stop the process. So water sort of helps too. So I said, well, I'm going to go with a natural or a regular shampoo and that's what i did and i haven't had a problem again what i'm telling you is it should not be in lieu of whatever you're doing if you're doing if you have your own setup as far as relaxing your hair and it works for you by all means continue i'm telling you what i do and you know what i don't mind being a rebel i really don't because i know that some of this stuff is a little um it's a little out of the norm and it's not necessarily um, smiled upon, but it works for me, okay? So what I do is relax the hair, time for it to wash out. Okay, don't want it to burn. I use Paul Mitchell Awapui Shampoo. This is what I use, okay? And I love it. Besides the smell, I love it because it's really thick and I just, I'm generous. I'm generous. I'm generous when I apply, especially since I have relaxer in my hair. I don't want any issues. I uh, squeeze it into my hand. I work it through my hand and I put it right in my hair. And of course I'm gentle because you still have the relaxer in your hair. So I make sure I get all the edges and then I go in the, in between and I gently just form like, you know, get that foaming situation together, you know? So I foam it, pull it out, make sure I get the ends, make sure I get this, boom. Okay, so that's my first wash. Because if you remember from my products video, I normally wash my hair three times, okay? So when I get a relaxer, it's no different. Except when I do my relaxer, I use, I wash it three times, but with three different shampoos, okay? So this is like the first shampoo to really get everything together. It leaves my hair soft. I don't have to worry about it feeling like straw and having to struggle with it and um, it feeling like it's knotting up because that's not a good feeling. This is I what I do. Paul Mitchell Awapui Shampoo. And I chose the Awapui because he has a whole line of shampoos. And I chose the Awapui because it is very moisturizing. It says very lush um, and it smells good. Oh my gosh. But um, yeah, it's very lush, very moisturizing. That's what I do for the first shampoo. For the second shampoo, this one is very familiar to you guys because this is in 
my products video, my hair products video. So I just do the Garnier, okay? So I do the Garnier Fructis, okay? And I do the strong uh, fortifying one, the one with the green apple on the front. So this is what I use for my second shampoo, okay? So I wash once with that, make sure the, the relaxer is out of my hair. And then I go back into the, I go into the Garnier Fructis, and that's the second shampoo, okay? And then for my third shampoo, to really make sure that there is moisture in my hair and it doesn't feel stripped, okay? Because that's what the neutralizing shampoo, that's how I felt it was doing my hair. It was stripping it of everything. So with this particular process, I don't feel like my hair is stripped at all. So for my third shampoo, okay, which is the third wash, I use the Caracare Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. So this is what I use. And I think they've since changed their bottles. I've had this for a little bit. And uh, yeah, but they're still around. I used to be able to get it from Ulta, but I don't think you can get it from Ulta anymore. I think I looked last time that I was there. I think I looked and I didn't see it. So I'm very disappointed in that. But you should be able to find it at some local beauty supply stores and or uh, I know they have a website. So that should be able to tell you where you can buy it. But yeah, I love this stuff. This stuff, when I first started really getting serious about um, my regimen, my relaxer regimen, this is what I started off with. This is because I went to a hairdresser and she used this on me. And I just remember the smell and I just remember just, I mean, all the products that she used were pretty much Care Care. So I was very interested in the shampoo and then at that particular time they had a serum. They still have it, but I don't use that serum anymore. But um, when I went to this particular hairdresser, she did my hair and it was so, always so pretty. It was flowy and it was bouncy and it was shiny and it was everything that you would want for your hair. So I asked her and she was one, I, she was very, you know, forthright in the products and telling me the products that she used on my hair. She had no issue with that. So she told me it was Care Care. I even called her up. I said, what's the name of the serum? I, 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 I. So, <laughs> so she told me the name of the serum and very nice woman, very nice woman. So tried this ever since. This has been a staple of mine. This used to be my regular weekly staple, but since I found Theory Shampoo, which again, I talk about in my products video, I sort of relegated it to just relax her day because just like it says, it's a hydrating detangling shampoo. When I put this in my hair, I don't need a conditioner to comb it through. I could put it in my hair, rinse it out, and comb right through my hair and not have to wait to put in a conditioner to comb through it. I can detangle when I have this in my hair. Okay, so there's a lot to be said about that. It gives your hair slip, it gives your hair moisture, and it does not weigh my hair down, okay? Uh, and it's sul sulfate-free, okay? And they have a whole line, Care Care, has a whole line of products um, that you can check out on their website and that may fit for you. But again, okay, so that's what I use. One, two, three. Then what I do is I go through the regular, okay, done with the shampoos, I put in my conditioner, which is the Theory Conditioner, which I talked about. It's the grapefruit conditioner, regular thing, uh, put the cap on, I don't leave it in any, longer than usual, which is the amount of time that it takes for me to take a shower, because I do this in the shower. Uh, well, I don't relax my hair in the shower. So let me just make that clear before you guys really, really get scared. Don't get scared. I do not relax my hair in the shower. I don't relax my hair in the shower. I relax my hair over the sink, okay? And then I do my first shampoo over the sink rinse it out. I start my second shampoo, my second shampoo in the sink. 
and then I rinse it out, go to the shower and rinse everything out. Then I do my third shampoo in the shower. Okay, so that's how I do it. So anyway, rinse out. Now that we've conditioned and our hair is nice and soft, okay, I rinse it out, I comb it through, and then I put in, I put in a leave-in. Okay, so just like normally I put in a leave-in, which would have been the Infusium 23, and I use the Wrap and Tap, Okay, remember I said that? So the Wrap and Tap, that's the styling lotion. So in lieu of the Infusium 23, I switch it out on Relaxer Day. I use Lacio Lacio. Okay, and I'm holding on to this because I don't even know. This is a Dominican product, okay? Dominican hair product. I first found out about this on the hair boards, okay? Because again, I was getting serious about my hair. I said, oh, I need to know more about products. I need to know this, I need to... Well, this, people were talking about this and there was a Salerm. Uh, there was another product, uh, Dominican hair product called Salerm. And I think I bought that too. But this one, Lacio Lacio, I love this stuff. The reason why I use this instead of the Infusium, Infusium is very light. Lacio Lacio, being that I just relaxed my hair, I again, I want to be sure the moisture and I wanted something just a little heavier. Now, heavier may be slightly a misnomer to use on this. It's not heavy. It's not a heavy cream. It's still semi-liquid. It's concentrated silk protein. Okay, again, a Dominican product. I love this. Thing. It makes your hair feel really good. It's a leave-in conditioner. And so it does what it says it's gonna do. It's, it conditions your hair, you leave it in, you don't wash it out. So you leave it in and it gives me a little more moisture because it's a more of a creamier liquid, if that makes any sense. It's not a cream, it's not a pomade, and it's not as liquidy as the infuser and it's just like a white um semi-thick liquid let's get that out so i don't know if you can see that so it's semi-thick okay and it smells it has a light smell it almost oh i gotta come on my nose it almost smells like a lotion that it's a hair lotion perfect it's a hair lotion that's exactly what it is the texture is like a lotion, okay? So as opposed to infusion, which is like a liquid, Lacio Lacio is more like a, a leave-in hair lotion, okay? And it smells like a lotion, but it leaves your, oh my goodness, it's one of the best products. And I'm holding, holding on to this because I'm not able to find that online anymore. I, I don't know where to find it. And when I bought this bottle, do you know I went all the way to New York to buy this? Well, let me be correct. I didn't go to New York to buy it, but my other bottle was running low. I was hanging out with a friend who's from New York. And so while I was in New York, I said, hey, you need to take me to a, a neighborhood where I can find this product. And so we went to somewhere in Brooklyn or something like that. And I picked up like two bottles of that. And I am holding on to, because this is my last bottle. I'm holding on to it because I love it that much. It's really a great product. Again, it coats your hair, it doesn't weigh it down, and it gives it the smoothness. And that's what I use on Relax Today because again, I just want, I, I sort of pull out the artillery, you know, on Relax Today because you're using a chemical, so you really want to really protect your strands because you've already stressed them out with a chemical. So let's protect it with the right type of products right type of moisturizing products to make sure your hair does not break off or have any type of adverse re uh, effect as far as the relaxer. So yeah, I leave this in, combine it with the wrap and tap and everything is just the same. Everything else is the same, okay? So this time around, I'm really excited and really happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, so it has a lot of body, just relaxed it, a lot of body. Like I said, I curled it tighter so 
and we're going to do a length to i think next time we're going to do a length check just to see where we are i again i trimmed it but i don't think i don't think i really gained too much um this time around it was it looks about the same but we're going to we're going to eyeball it okay we're going to eyeball it but um we're going to get into it i feel good i feel like we're in the flow of things i really feel positive about where everything is going so yeah i just wanted to come in here share my relaxer uh products okay share how my hair looks after it's been relaxed so that's pretty much it we were in and out okay again gotta find your regimen if you relax your own hair make sure you take care of your tresses again i want to stress that just because i do something a certain way i'm not pushing that on anybody everybody has their own way of doing things and this is just mine okay and again i sometimes i like being a rebel you know going outside the box and i was like oh they do it that way i'm gonna do it this way so that's what i did but it works for me okay so thanks for dialing in and showing up i really appreciate it uh if you have any questions just let me know down below really appreciate it all right till next time because we will be back i'm, I'm coming back we're gonna talk yeah we're coming back and talk about more stuff okay